back again. Basketball. For those that missed it, last night, your number one seed, Vancouver Ravens, got shit kicked by the Portland Trailblazers. While your Louisville Liberty Bibbity came back from 2 0 down and beat Washington in seven. And tonight, the Bibbity take on Das Hornets. Giannis and Das Hornets. But of course, they also have LaMelo Ball, Darius Garland, which hurts. Malcolm Brogdon's there too, but he's out with a broken right leg, so he's fucked. Austin Rivers is on the team, for God's sakes. Uh, Cecil Malone, who has a great pencil, thins Tash, Jordan Clarkson. So, I mean, they have the best player of the bunch in LaMelo, but we we compete pretty well in terms of the guards. We had the advantage of forward over Russ Schultz or Wenli Kim. Timothy Luwawu Cabarro. What a name. Then a power forward. We're fucked. Fucked. And at center, we line up pretty well. Harrell could be a pretty big problem, though. So yeah, last year against the Hawks, the defending champion Hawks, who are going to be playing the Knicks, we could not shut down their star in Trey Young, who averaged about 75,000 points a night. The question now is whether or not, and I trust Dino Popovich in theory. How good's Dino defensively? Do I trust Dino to shut him down? I mean, Dino's defense is solid. A minus interior D. I trust Dino to shut him down and Leon to be able to help. Those could be famous last words. But we're going to see how this goes down and whether or not we can pull off the Liberty Bibbity Miracle. That's the question. That is the question. The Hornets beat the eighth seed in Philadelphia in five. And now, if we go head to head, we're gonna get right down to business. You know why? Because I have a feeling that this isn't gonna be the only series between these two teams that we see, damn it. Damn it, Dome. thank you for doing that, by the way. I appreciate it tremendously. Extra life, hell of a charity. Let's do this. Let's prove that we're not charity cases. Round two for the very first time. You guys made the playoffs for the first time. I made it for the second year in a row. Oh, the Bibberty. Oh, the Bib. The Bibberty. The Bibberty. The Bibberty. The Bibberty. The Bibberty. The Bibberty. Game one goes to the Bibbity. 120 to 114. Giannis ain't got shit on me. Leon Law. He is the law. 28 points and 12 rebounds. You'll love to see it. Stevie Cook, double double, 21 points, 10 assists, 19 points for Watson. Sammy Rogers got roughed up a little bit. But Mr. Leon, I am the law, has his best playoff game to date. And we take game one. So the Lakers beat the Blazers, handing them their first loss of this postseason. Memphis beat Dallas, New York beat Atlanta. The good thing is now, because we're not following two series at once, we can make our way through these a little bit faster. Not going to change anything. I didn't see... Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Box score. How did Giannis do? Giannis still had 20. Giannis still had 20, but nothing crazy. Malone was their leading scorer. So, I mean, only 20 for Giannis. That's not bad. That is not bad. Popcorn, take it easy, by the way. Catch you later. Let's see what happens here in game two as Void knocks the hell out of Warrior. I love to see it. Game two here in North Kakalaki, and the Hornets are looking a hell of a lot better. One twenty-eight to one fourteen, the Hornets show up and tie this series at one game apiece. Watson led the way for us with 
29 points, but LaMelo on the other side with 26. And Giannis with 20 points, 20 rebounds. Yikes. Yikes. So we drop game two. Phil, good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're all right. The Lakers, by the way, up 2 to nothing, and both bottom seed matchups are 1 1 splits. We go to game three. We haven't really had a close enough game to jump in yet. Will this be the one? As I'm guessing, it's Colin. Might be Colin. Thank you for the follow, though. Well, not the follow, the prime sub. That's what that is. You dropping a prime sub before dropping a follow? Is that what just happened? I respect it. You know what I don't respect is us getting run over to start the third quarter. Oh boy, I said we hadn't had a close game yet. Said we hadn't had a close game yet. Three minutes left, chat, for the first time tonight. We jump in to see how the action is going to play out. Here at the home of the Liberty Bibbity. And we will see how this goes. I know, I just had to say something about the close games. I know, I'm a horrible person. I know. Problem here is that uh, Charlotte's in the bonus. That kind of scares me a little bit. With three minutes to go. Pass to Watson. Let's see what we can do here. Ernie Landry. Good passing here, but just nothing open. Stevie Cook doesn't take the shot. Watson. Doesn't release. Chance. Landry. Open three. Buckets. This has been their game plan here in the final. Buckets. Beautiful. Four point lead now for the Bibbity. Catcher the bonus is essentially when you fouled the other team too many times. If you foul them again, they go straight to the free throw line instead of just like, oh, yeah, th throw in, inbound it. So you automatically go to the free throw line when your team's in the bonus is the best short way to explain it. Landry has definitely gotten better from three. It's true. Player of, the game. <laughs> what an impressive performance for him Ooh, of course it is. Uh, of course it is. Louis, that's awesome. 22 points for Ryan Watson, by the way. Good stuff. Good stuff. Four point lead, 238 to go here for the Liberty. The half-court meeting. The half-court meeting. Harrell looking inbound. Finds Garland. I do love the Hornets unis. Always have. Malone, big move. Malone, baseline. J misses. Rebounded by Dino. Got it over Giannis. Julio. Julio. Has to slow it down. Leon. He is the law. Julio. Stevie Cook. Eight seconds on the clock. Pick from Leon. Cook double teamed. Dunleavy! Misses. <laughs> Still up by four. Two minutes to go. Giannis trying to drive. And somehow Stevie Cook ended up on him. That was a horrible fucking switch from our defense. And the lead is down to two. 29 points for Giannis at this stage. His best performance so far. Liberty, 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 Liberty. I mean, Void, I don't drink at all, but I'd probably drink if I had to go to a staff party. Probably. AJ, I said it was fine. Shut up. Jesus. I never said I had an issue. <laughs> Void. Void. Ouch. 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 I've had jobs before. Dog! Damn it. Oh, God. Smoot, uh, you're not the only one. Thank God Schultz missed there. Adam Morrison and his mustache were the goat. God rest the bob. Cats! Oh, baby, what a finish. What a finish. That was Dunleavy there. You love to see it. The Biberty. The Biberty. 102 to 98. We pull up chairs at center court. Giannis in a Hornets uni is weird, man. Boy, I wonder why they have the Jordan. Bobcats can be PTSD. Future Laker. Giannis, huh? 
future Celtic. Telling me he doesn't want to listen to people in Massachusetts try to pronounce Giannis. All right, Harrell. Left to play in the fourth. Giannis looking to drive. Giannis. Horrific defense, but he missed. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah. Here comes Dunleavy. Quickly into the corner. Down low. Dino Popovich. 104 to 98. Oh, Louisville went to the learning tree last year. This year, though, they look like they might be ready for prime time. Horrible defense, but we're getting away with it. Leon Law on the rebound. 105 to go, up by six. Here's Dunleavy. He's like Mike Dunleavy back in the day. Dunleavy! Misses. Can't get the rebound. Come on now. 50 seconds. Up by six. And the three. Misses. Rebound by Harrell. He's going to put that one back. Law is 7-1. Not sure what his wingspan is. The lead's down to four with 44 seconds to go. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. I guess the best Charlotte unit. Charlotte has some good ones in my opinion at least. In my opinion. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. Here we go. Dunleavy really stepped up as a depth option on this team. Gets the inbound to Julio, and there's the intentional foul. We're not in the bonus, though, so a couple more seconds are going to come off the clock. I don't know if LaMelo fouled out or if he's sitting. He may have fouled out. Doo-doo. 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 43 seconds to go. Here we go. Leon is the law. Inbounds to Dunleavy and earns the foul in the paint. That was an interesting inbound. And here comes Johnny Dunleavy. Fair enough, Devils. Appreciate the lurk. Johnny Dunleavy looking to put this game out of reach. Void, see you later, you big piece of garbage. He doesn't get the first one to fall. Oh, Mikey, 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 Mikey. You're not even Mikey, you're Johnny. We have another player named Michael. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Thank you. You're Mikey when you miss, you're Johnny when you make it. Up by five, 40 seconds to go. Can we take a two to one series lead? Garland. Finds Giannis. Nearly double team. Garland the three. Misses Giannis. Gets the rebound. Garland again. Hits it. The lead is down to two. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, all right, all right. 27 seconds. Up by two. Up by two. Oh boy, here we go. Big moments here. The inbound to Law finds Dunleavy. There's the foul. Here we go, Dunleavy back to the line. One for two last time. Come on, Dunleavy. Come on. Let's go. First one down. Leads back to three. Can he make it four? Two of four from the line. Dunleavy sees the lead. Only at three. Missing free throw has been a big problem over the years. Dino loses Giannis. 
Misses. Rebound by Dunleavy again. Dunleavy back to the line for the third time. Jesus. Dunleavy back to the line again. Come on. AJ, I can't say that I have. Dunleavy misses again. Two of five now from the line with Dunleavy. He needs to hit this. He has to hit this. Thank God. Oh. We're up by four. 14 seconds left. The Hornets out of timeouts. What do you think? Score quick, then foul. Then you have to hope for some missed free throws. We should be fine. Send your guys to free throw camp. We probably should, shouldn't we? Here we go. Yeah, Lamelo's at the end of the bench there. I don't know. Come on, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Can we take this 2-1 to one series lead? Good coverage, Schultz, Garland throws up a prayer, misses, Harrell out rebounded by Dino, Dunleavy to Julio, he's fouled by Giannis, that's his fifth, and we're back to the line, 6.9 left, nice, up by four if Julio Hardy hits these two, it is a ball game as if it isn't already here in game three, halfway home to the conference final. All five foot eleven of them. Oh, the first and two, no good. A heartbreaker. I can't believe my team's this bad at taking free throws. Holy shit. Send the whole team to camp. And he does get the second one. And that Woo. Uh, Eddie, I have no idea. I don't play on PC. I'd presume so though. The three. Schultz misses no ball game. The Louisville Liberty. Take a two to one series lead over Giannis and the Charlotte Hornets. God damn it, yes. God damn it, yes. Chat, you love to see it. And even if you don't love to see it, you love to see it, chat. Whew. Let's look at the box score here. Ryan Watson, 22 points. Dino. A solid 15, Dunleavy. Dunleavy. Ugh. 11 assists there, one steal, nine rebounds for Dunleavy. On the other side, 29 points for Giannis' best game of the series. But it ultimately didn't matter. We are up 2-1 to one in this series. In the West, the Lakers up 3-0. Dallas, wow, so Portland might get swept immediately. <laughs> Dallas up 2-1, to one, and the Hawks now up 2-1. to one. <laughs> So, chat, how do you feel in knowing that you were swept by the Blazers who were then swept by the Lakers? How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel knowing that this is the Lakers team that did it? No LeBron, no Giannis, just a dude named Mel and Markel Fultz. How does that make you feel? And Brooke Lopez, for God's sakes. By the way, shout out to Andrew Bogut, retiring, by the way. That 05 draft seems so long ago, man. That was around the peak of my fandom in the NBA. Whew. Dallas and Memphis tied. And again, chat, we could be on a date with destiny. Could we be on course for a rematch? against Atlanta. It's game four against the Hornets. Let's do it. First time that we have made it to this point. Either one of our teams, we got a decent lead here that's evaporating. I mean, AJ, I gotta be honest, around the time that LeBron 
went to Miami was around the time I'm like, well, like I can respect it. I can respect the fact, like, okay, it's almost Jordan-esque. Like, LeBron's constantly in the finals, and I like LeBron a lot. Oh, shit, they're getting close to tying this. But also, it was just like, well, fuck, now the Celtics aren't going to win shit, so whatever. Allow me to say... Allow me to say that I'm very happy we're winning this. Because I'm listening to the game audio, and the fucking weekend just came on. The weekend... And uh, I fucking really do dig the song, as overplayed as it is. So now I don't have to skip it, because the Liberty Biberty have a 3-1 to one series lead on the Charlotte Hornets. Yes! One win away from the conference final. Leon, I am the law. 23 points and 12 rebounds. Rodgers with 20 points as well in just 19 minutes. The Bigs got it done. Law, Rogers, and Popovich. You love to see it. Giannis held the 25. Lamelo at 31. By the way, uh, game three, maybe. Lamelo didn't foul out in game three. I don't know if Lamelo's fouled out at all. I don't think he fouled out in game three. Very weird. The Hawks await the winner. Is it going to be a date with destiny against the defending champions? Is it going to be a date with destiny? against the defending champions, the team that we had down three to nothing. They came back, reverse swept us, and won the whole damn thing. Can we punch our ticket to the final? Conference final, that is. Here we go. Game number five. Huge lead for the Biberty at the end of the first half. The Biberty! The Biberty! For the first time, the Louisville Liberty are going to the conference final. One eleven to one oh two in game five. Watson thirty five points. Giannis with a high of 21 on his team. We shut down Giannis. Dunleavy shows up. Popovich shows up. The Liberty will move on. But can we get revenge on Atlanta for what happened last season? Mavericks and Lakers. Hawks and Biberty. We beat Charlotte, but can we beat Atlanta? Let's take a look at the Hawks roster. I know they say don't count your chickens before they hatch. Trey Young is out for the season. If this isn't our year to get to the final, I don't know what is. Trey Young single-handedly kicked my ass last year. He's out. Tore his ACL on March 1st. He's Now here's the thing though. They have made it to this point without Trey Young. Alton Evans at point guard. Tim Hardaway, Bogdan Bogdanovich. I don't know how they've made it to this point without him, but they have made it to this point. DeAndre Hunter, Cameron Reddish, Anthony Soto. I mean, we have the edge there. I mean, a Kong Wu has stepped up. Collins has stepped up. But we have the bigs to be able to counter these two. Not completely, but for the most part. This is my series to lose. There is no reason with Trey Young out of that lineup for me to lose this series. 
We can't lose this. I mean, Hardaway... Hardaway has been brutal this postseason. Uh, Bogdanovich has been unfucking believable. So Bogdanovich is playing out of his mind. Hunter's been okay. Reddish, meh. Soto's been great when he gets a chance to play, at least in the regular season, but he hasn't played in the playoffs. Okongwu's been pretty damn good. It's really been Bogdanovich and John Collins. Can we counter Bogdanovich and Collins? And Chris Boucher. Okay. So Boucher, Collins, Okongwu have been really good, and so is Bogdanovich at this point. But... This is our series to lose. The Biberty find themselves in the conference final for the very first time. Can we make the most of it? Is the question. Game one. Let's find out. A rematch against the Hawks. We faced them in round one last year. Got reverse swept. The Hawks defending champions, but they are without Trey. This game very, very close. We're pulling away a bit here, though. In the fourth, still pulling away. The Hawks desperately trying to get back into it. Ten seconds left. One twenty-one to one fourteen. The Liberty survive and take game one. 28 points, 11 rebounds for Dino, 19 points and 10 assists for Stevie Cook. 11 assists as well for Julio Hardy. John Collins, 21 points. Kong Wu shut down. Boucher shut down. Bogdanovich didn't even play. Three wins away from a finals appearance as the Mavs take game one against the Lakers. Game two, against Atlanta. Running away with it a little bit, but again, Atlanta has the opportunity to hang around. 14 point lead. Leads down to eight. Back up to nine, now 10, low batteries. Will it stop us, 104 to 95? Leads down to six, leads down to four, leads back up to six. The Louisville Liberty have a two to nothing series lead against the Atlanta Hawks for the second year in a row. However, Leon Law is apparently injured. Hello, Eliza, how are you? 113 to 106, but Leon Law is apparently injured. Dunleavy and Watson led the way. It was a total team effort offensively. Popovich with 10 rebounds. We have a 2-0 series lead. The Lakers tie it up at one apiece. But Leon Law is out for two to four weeks with a knee injury. Okay. Can we deal with it? Dino's at center. Rodgers is in. Dunleavy can't play power forward. We need the height of Rodgers there. Granted, Rodgers is only 6'9". Fair enough, Eliza. He just doesn't have the defensive ability. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't have the post defense. Rodgers, though, solid defense and rebounding in the post. We're going to stick with it. Leon Law is out, but we do have a 2-0 series lead. We're going to look again at the grit and grind where Rodgers is just really not a good fit. Dunleavy's a much better fit. But having Dunleavy there is a huge problem. I'm not going to change the system. Hmm. I mean, the grit and grind has been working out so, so well for us. I mean, balanced is nice in a way, but I don't really like it. 
Ace the space is worse for the guards. Perimeter centric. And pretty bad for the guards. I mean, a seven second offense with this team could work if we get in trouble. We're going to stick with the grit and grind. Gym class here, a double duty indeed. Thank you for checking out the stream earlier, by the way. We go to game three without Leon, but a two to nothing series lead at hand. Again, we are without Leon. They are without Trey Young. Here we go. Game three. A three to nothing series lead for us last year. We're struggling right now, but pulling back. The Hawks blowing a bit of a lead here after a good second quarter. Close game. Hawks pulling away again. We're struggling defensively. Can we battle back? It's not looking good. The lead's down to five with a minute to go. The lead is down to five with a minute to go. We gotta find out. We gotta find out. <sighs> At least fair enough, I appreciate the lurk. Here we go. Hawks ball though. We need a stop here. Both teams in the bonus. We only have one timeout left from the looks of it. Atlanta is gonna get on the board here with this game. Horrible defense from Rodgers, that's it. Sammy Rogers, we got bullied in the paint, is my guess, without Leon Law there. We're going to have to change it up. Ryan Watson, step back. Instead gets it down to Rogers. Nearly got the N1. Five-point game with 46 seconds to go. We need a possession here. We need a stop. Collins looking to drive past Watson. Collins puts one up. Can't get it. Rebound. Boucher comes down with it. And we're in big trouble. Schmonster, take it easy, by the way. Dunleavy gets screened. Popovich, big rebound. But we're forced to use our final timeout. Fuck. I feel like we might have to change up that offensive strategy. I really do. I really, really do. Only reason is that without Leon Law, I feel like we're tremendously outmatched in the paint now. So maybe if we switch to the seven second offense, just start, you know, shooting the lights out, hopefully. We don't really have to rely on the paint. We are a different team without Leon Law down low. Kevin, during the break, Louisville's coach had some words for his team. All right, Rogers, can you get the inbound? He said, don't give up. Dunleavy. Dunleavy. Tries to charge, puts one up. Can't get it. That's, go that's game right there. That's game right there. We'll just put us out of our misery. The Atlanta Hawks are going to take this one 126 to 120. They are back in this series. The lead now down to 2-1. to one. Watson 29 points, Rodgers with 27, but yeah, Reddish, Okongwu, Collins all had better games. <laughs> We're doing well shooting the lights out in that one, but without Leon Law, we have to change our strategy. The Lakers up 2-1 to one on Dallas. We still have a 2-1 to one lead here. But uh, yeah, we we need we need to change it up. Grit and grind's just not gonna work more than likely. Just driving driving's not going to uh, driving's not gonna work it out. So we're looking at pace and space. We're looking at perimeter centric for seven seconds. Can't do perimeter centric. I mean, poor defensively against the bigs, which doesn't help. It's rather strong. I mean, post centric doesn't really work. I mean, pace and space. Is that the pace and space or seven seconds? I thought my fucking 
game froze, my controller batteries finally went. Isn't it amazing how it, uh, you always just seem to forget? You always just seem to forget. I need to, uh, when I go home, I'll be able to get my goddamn wire to just plug this in properly. Although, you know, plugging in a controller to the Series X, not exactly as easy as uh, a one. Although there is, I guess, a USB drive on the front, so it's fine. Watson works well in the seven seconds. He also works well in perimeter centric. The other guards are better with seven seconds. We're gonna run the seven second offense here. We gotta make that change. It's gotta be done. And looking at the game plan and what I'm allowed to change, Rodgers will stay in, which is fine by me. Losing Leon Law really hurts. Let's see if it hurts enough to allow Atlanta to walk right back into this series. We're now going to be testing our shooters against their bigs, and it is resulting in a very, very close game here. Atlanta up by five. We're going to jump into this one, too. We are going to jump into this one, too, and we could be in a little bit of trouble here. Atlanta trying to make the lead six. And they don't. Dunleavy on the rebound. I totally forgot to switch that over. Here we go. Come on, boys. Come on. Dunleavy, let's see what you got. Dino. Over. Watson. Down for Landry. Has a height mismatch. Corner for Cook. Landry, you got a shooting lane here. You got a shooting lane. Take it. Awful from Landry. Awful. No reason he shouldn't have taken that shot. He gave it to Dino instead. I guess he just panicked. Uh, Boucher to Hardaway. Misses. Rebounded by Landry, though. Better. Come oh, on, boys. Three minutes isn't a lot of time. Especially down by five. Dunleavy. Finds Popovich in the corner. Stevie Cook. Misses. I fear that Atlanta may just be about to tie this series up at two. I fear. Collins trying to drive, fended off by Dunleavy. Actually, it was Watson there. Cook, stick with him, stick with him, Stevie. Boucher on the rebound. The lead to seven. And we are in big, big trouble. Second chance points. That's winning basketball. That Leon Law injury was the great equalizer, it appears. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Onyeka Akongwu. You just simply can't measure how valuable he's been to them. Akongwu, a player of the game yet again. They're getting it done in the paint. That led to a pretty spectacular game. Yeah, this is something he will. We need a bucket here. These types of performances in the playoffs we need a bucket, Frank. A player's legacy. Good reference. Again, the fucking custom team arena home glitch is brutal. What's stopping the opposing team from stealing the ball before the other team starts attacking? I mean, the risk of having too many players too far away to not be able to properly defend. Rogers can't get the N1. Alright, Sammy, we need these shots here. First one. Misses. If this team could shoot free throws, we'd win and we'd sweep every series. Misses them both. This team cannot shoot free throws. Two minutes left, we're down by seven. Atlanta on the verge of tying this series. The Hawks will get this last out on us. Damn it, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. They're ahead by seven. There's a minute fifty-four left to play in the fourth quarter. <sighs> Entire team of shacks. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. There we go. There's a minute 54 left in the fourth quarter of this one. 
Six to shoot. Down low. Oh, nice take. There you go, Sammy. Good job. Come on, boys. We're not out of it. Corner. Dunleavy. Misses. Rogers called for a foul. This one's over. Atlanta's going to tie this series. We lost Leon Law. And we're just not going to overcome it. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a nine point game here. A minute 22. Uh, Oville, we're in the conference final against Atlanta. It'll beat Charlotte in five. Great move by Cook, but even better defense. Waving the white flag on this one. Atlanta is going to win it 111 to 103. This series is tied at two apiece. Ryan Watson, decent game, but you can see there the scoring. Just incredibly low. And again, it sounds as if their scoring was all that great, but they're getting it done in the paint. That's the difference. We just can't shut them down right now. We just can't shut him down with Leon Law missing. Both conference finals tied at two apiece. Honestly, I'm so tempted to switch us to a defensive style. So tempted. Just to try and counteract the fact that... Uh, You know, that was struggling defensively. Just get that extra help down low. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking of going post-centric here to try and shut him down. Doesn't necessarily help us out on offense, but uh, just thinking defensively, what the hell can we do, right? It's got to be defensively. Got to be defensive. It doesn't perfectly fit our system, but we just got to turtle up. Hopefully, uh, make our shots on the other side. But I think we might change some stuff around here. Efficiency. I think Hardy would have been better. I think Hardy would have been better. A lot of guys really don't fit that defensive style, though, huh? I do not know what the hell to do. <sighs> Losing Leon Law hurts us a lot. We're going to go to game five with a more defensive style and hope for the best. Back in Atlanta. Let's... Um, trying to counteract their game instead of just playing mine did not work. Watson shot 2 of 13. And we have lost three straight games. Three straight losses pushes us to the brink. Just going to go back to the grit and grind and hope for the best.
See if this puts in Lyle at center. We need the height. Losing Leon Law. Might just be something we can't overcome. Julio's good defensively, but not quite performing at the level I need him to perform at. Stevie Cook's been all right. Landry. Landry's really struggled too. Watson's been great. Dunleavy hasn't been that great either. Fuck. We got a lot of players who are underperforming right now. A lot of players who are underperforming. We're going to get RJ Lyles in at center for the extra height. And uh, we're going to hope for the best. And go back to playing our game and see what happens. 2 0 up. Now 3 2 down. Our season is on the line. Can we force game seven? In Atlanta, oh baby, what a start. In Atlanta without Trey Young, but a Liberty team without Leon Law. Chat, we go back to playing our game, and it pays dividends. Game seven for the second year in a row against Atlanta. Don't know I remember that happening. Game seven coming up against Atlanta for the second year in a row. Dino Popovich goes off. 31 points, 10 rebounds. Cook, 24 points, 10 assists. Evans on the way for them with just 24 points. Game seven. Can we overcome the demon? It's also a game seven in the West. We go back to our style. We get a little bit bigger at center. Instead of running Dino, we get RJ Lyles there. He is not the best player in the world, but fuck it, he's tall, and that's all we can bank on right now. <sighs> Comes down to this. You guys fell in the first round. And we are one win away from making it to the finals. Can we do it? Are the Liberty, the standard bearers of this series, are we going to the NBA Finals? Or will the Atlanta Hawks break our hearts for the second year in a row? Regardless of whether or not Trey Young is there. Random Human, thank you for the prime sub. We are pulling away. And all of a sudden, Atlanta's back in it. Come on. Come on, we're pulling away. If it's gonna happen, we're gonna watch it happen, damn it. If it's gonna happen, we're gonna watch it happen. Game seven, on the road in Atlanta. Injuries or not, can we get our revenge? Can we go to the finals? Double team, play it over to Lyles. He's not gonna take that shot, but he's gonna try to drive. RJ finds Cook, gets blocked. Popovich the rebound, pump fake, puts it home. Tino Popovich. 20 points on the night. We're up to 11. Where they can't afford to get lazy. <sighs> Missed a chance to hit Collins. Intercepted Ernie Landry. They got the switch, but Landry was all over him. Landry inside. Steve Cook. 13. Two and a half to go. Are the Louisville Liberty. There's the switch again this time. Collins catches Landry. They're on the full court press already. There's the inbound to Julio. Now Landry. Landry trying to drive. Gets over the line at least. 2.08 to go. And an illegal screen on RJ Lyles will turn the ball back over. Up by 11 with 2.07 to go. Again, he ends up open down low. Collins. They keep getting him open off the switch. Three seconds? Three seconds? I don't. I disagree with him being on the outside. Leads down to nine. We're missing Leon Law. They're missing Trey Young. Steve Cook. Finds Dino. 
Dino driving. Dino nearly gets the and one. He'll go to the line. Huge opportunity for Dino Popovich. Has 20 points already. Hits the first. Leads back to 10. A minute 42 away. Just the second time we've made the playoffs. A minute and 42 away from potentially going to the finals. Against either the Lakers or the Mavs. Dino, second shot. We got somebody who can hit free throws. The lead's back to 11. No Trey Young to save you. But they can get to the paint, no fucking problem. John Collins again, Jesus Christ. We cannot defend him. They keep getting open down low. Here's Landry. Ernie Landry just ticked time off of that clock, buddy. Landry, driving, spin, puts it up, doesn't fall, can't get the rebound. Collins brings it down. Down low to Collins. Landry stuck on him again. Collins can't get it to fall. One minute to go. Landry, Steve Cook down to Dino. Popovich fade away. Misses. 46 seconds. There's the double team. Open down low is Collins. Popovich able to foul him. Dino out of the game. 22 points. Dino is out. As we bring in the scrubs to try and seal the deal. John Collins gets two. Team down by nine. He needs both with 39 seconds to play. Misses the first. first throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. What's interesting about John Collins, he plays fast, but he's also measured in his approach. Come on. Missed the second. Missed the second. Let Dino's foul be worth it. It's already worth it. Collins hits the second. Eight-point lead with 39 and a half to go. Are the Liberty going to the final? Dabanovich is on the floor in a playoff game. Chance here, wasting time. Love to see it. 30 seconds to go. They're not fouling because of the timeouts. Jens Meyer can't get it to fall for the end one. Swizz, take it easy, buddy. Jens Meyer, Zajamin, going to the line. Hits both of these. This one's out of reach as if it isn't already. Come on, man. Meyer hits it. Here come the starters again with the exception of Meyer. Socks, it's not over till it's over, damn it. Come on, Jens. Come on. This is, that's okay, clock's ticking. Collins out to Reddish, he's hurt. Reddish. For Bogdanovich. Hits the three. Leads down to six with 18 to go. Steve Cook is fouled. Only reason I'm nervous is because of this team's ability to brick free throws on a consistent basis. Davey Cook to seal the deal and send us to the NBA Finals for the first time. Chat, this entire run is about head-to-head. -head. You against me. And I am less than 18 seconds away from seeing my team go to the NBA Finals. We might lose, but God damn it, we at least made it to the Finals. Stevie Cook. Misses the second, clock's ticking. Hard away to the corner, out of bounds, that's it. He couldn't keep his foot in. 
Just wasn't meant to be. The Atlanta Hawks are going to fall in seven. Trey Lyles or not, call it an asterisk if you want. I don't care. Well, not Trey Lyles, but Trey Young, not here. And at the end of the day, we'll take the win. We get our revenge. Fans are leaving. The Louisville Liberty are leaving. And they're on their way to either Dallas or Los Angeles. We're going to the finals. And you can see the elation on their faces. Not just oh, my God. Pure excitement to be headed to the NBA finals. A tremendous opportunity now. Just four. We are going to the finals. And so close. I mean, they can practically taste it right now. But, but it's not going to be easy. Four wins away. Are going to be the most difficult of the season if they can get them. But no matter what happens, I think the accomplishment of the Liberty championship is something this franchise and its fans will always remember and they'll represent the east in a final series that's mere days away and we need it to be la we have to avoid luca luca's still in dallas we need to avoid dallas this is kevin harlan thanking you for tuning in it can't can't be dallas Ryan Watson celebrating Bogdanovich Hunter Reddish all put up a fight but Watson Popovich Cook all over 20 points seal the deal we are four wins away it's beautiful the Liberty in the finals. Will it be Dallas or will it be LA? Again, if it's the Lakers, we match up pretty favorably. I mean, point guard Mel Patrick and Markel Fultz, that's tough to deal with. But like Dante DiVincenzo, Davis, like, okay, they're fine depth. We have a huge advantage of forward with Watson. We, in fact, you know, we match up favorably at uh, forward and at center, if healthy. We need it to be L.A. Because this, if it's the Mavericks, granted Tyus Jones and Cody Russell aren't anything special, but Luke is there. You also have a guy by the name of Josh Green. At forward, though, DeMar, who's way down. Sam Miles, who's way down. It basically comes down to... I mean, Porzingis is solid, obviously. Porzingis is good. Bull, bull at this point is decent, but injury prone. Go figure. It comes down to Luka. Obviously, they have unbelievable height in the post. But if we could shut down Luka, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? The Dallas Mavericks. Make it to the NBA Finals. Beating the Lakers in seven. 117 to 109. 30 points for Luka in the victory. Mavericks and Liberty in the Finals. The big question for me is how long is Leon Law out for? He's out for another one to two weeks. He might be back for the end of the series if it goes the distance. Uh, Dwayne, for the most part, I'd say it's it's on point with what you'd expect. I haven't noticed like anybody who shouldn't develop developing and who sh you know should develop not really developing. So I haven't seen anything overly questionable. We're going to have to run the same thing. We have to run RJ Lyles at center and Dino at forward. We got to do it. Do you want it to go the distance? I mean, I don't know. Better than 2K20's version of progression? I'd say so, but I didn't play a ton of 2K20 to be fair. 2K20. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just wasn't. Uh, I wasn't digging my league at that point. But I was definitely uh, 
you know, my interest is re-energized in the mode for next gen. We gotta run the grit and grind no matter what. It's, it's the main system that's been working for us. Tiger, what's going on? I mean, again, the problem is they're dangerous all over the place. I don't know what I want to run here. I mean, we could just run balanced, but eh. And defensive doesn't really work for us. Should be good. I'm not allowed to put Watson directly on Luca unless I move Watson to point guard. The reason I might not is because Cook and Hardy are both good defenders, but then there's a massive height advantage for Luca. We got height down low. AJ, we're in the final. Dwayne, I know. I'm, what I'm saying is because I have my team and chat has their team, I'm not allowed to edit the defensive settings unless chat says I can, and they haven't said that I can. So, <laughs> of course, if I was allowed to, they'd be allowed to, but uh, we've been trying to screw each other over all the time. Fuck. Mm. I mean, we're already going to be sacrificing strength and height. You know, pace and space, in theory, could work. A lot of our guys are good in ISO. Honestly, I'm thinking pace and space might be the best way to do it here. We know we have shooters up front. Again, the grit and grind, I just don't like the idea. <sighs> you know, the, the theory on the grit and grind is like, okay, just try to force it down low and essentially get you know, Bull Bull and Porzingis to foul out or get into foul trouble. But the problem is, if you have Steve Cook and Julio Hardy trying to drive down low, their shots are just going to get blocked all the fucking time. So I don't hate the idea of pace and space and just move and force the big guys to move. I'm gonna go with my gut here and go with pace and space. At least to start. Grit and grind's been our best way to go about things, but. We got Luca fucking 6 7. I just have to hope that uh, our coach here, who has 17 chins, is smart enough. Get these matchups, but probably not. Again, Julio's 5'11, Cook is 6'1. I don't know what to do to try and counteract those settings because there's no way chat's gonna vote to allow me to switch up settings. Uh, I need to know where they're gonna run Luca. Where are they gonna run Luca? I mean, they have him at shooting guard primarily. And Hardy's a really good defender. Hardy's a better defender than Cook. That's why I like having Julio in. He's a really goddamn good defender. Socks, that's what I'm probably going to do. To be honest, that's what I gotta do. I gotta factor in that height disadvantage with Luca, and this is pretty much the only way I'm allowed to do it. Pretty much the only way I'm allowed to do it. Dunleavy solid. Dunleavy gives us a little bit more height too in the lineup. That's, that's the team. That is the team. Again, I hate that RJ's there because of injury, but hopefully he can just do the job. He's, he's tall. He's 7'1". Like, the hope is just be a fucking big problem. Just get in the way. Leon's a week or two out. 
prospects go. Watson fits in really well in the pace and space option. Still fits in well in the grit and grind. Man, Dunleavy fits in really well with the seven second option though. Miles is the only one who's really out of place. Post centric is obviously not going to work. Perimeter centric is obviously not going to work. Man, 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 man. Bagel, take it easy, buddy. We'll catch you later.